Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is for you. Welcome to the ukulele van. It's your old pal Manitoba Hal, and I am on the road again. Now I say welcome to the ukulele van, but you don't know what that means. This is the van that the ukulele paid for. Yeah, let's take a look. During the pandemic, uh, we decided, we being my manager Nicole and I, decided that uh, as things were changing in the music industry, that I didn't want to stay in as many uh, hotels and motels as I could when I traveled. I wanted to have my own space. How's that for a morning view, huh? Anyway, I'm, I'm coming to you here from a parking lot on the edge of the St. Lawrence Seaway in Rimouski, Quebec. There is a lovely maritime museum here where you can visit a 1965 Oberon-class submarine that was in service for Canada until the early 2000s, and you can tour through it. I did that, and here are some photos. Look at this. It was a great experience. Uh, I don't think I'd ever want to live in a submarine, but I've got a friend uh, in Australia who was a submariner and served on an Oberon class for many years, and uh, he's told me a little bit about his adventures, so I thought I'd have to see one for myself, and I, I don't envy him his past in that regard. I don't think I'd ever want that job, so I'm grateful that what I get to do is live in this tin can, which is my ukulele camper van, um, which uh, I'll give you a tour of in a moment. Um, but I wanted to uh, introduce it to you. So uh, this is the ukulele van. And it's the start of a new chapter of my video series as well. It's going to be called Ukulele Van Life. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring you scenes from the road of a traveling musician. This is not going to be the glamorous... Uh, uh, music video kind of montages, uh, although there'll be a little of that maybe, but it's going to be about what we really experience. You're going to see highways, you're going to see roadside eateries that I like, you're going to see uh, favorite tourist attractions of small towns and mid-sized towns. I'm not going to be taking you to the uh, Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto, for example, because many people have done that. Uh, we're going to just hang out as we, as I travel and you're going to see what I see. Uh, and, uh, we've got some great episodes coming for you. This might be the first video you're seeing, but it actually comes, uh, after a few months of traveling already. I've got some, uh, video where I'm visiting Bear River, Nova Scotia. I've got some stuff where I've traveled to the UK and to France, and there's some video going to come to you from that. So ukulele van life without the van for one of our early episodes, um, and I hope you enjoy this kind of look into uh, my life as a traveling musician. And uh, we're going to try every episode to include me playing a little ukulele for you. This is my old 1955 Martin ukulele. This is the first ukulele I got. And uh, it's perfect for ukulele van life, I think, because it's so portable. But of course, I have everything with me here. So you'll probably see my baritone ukulele at some point in here. You might even get to, well, I don't know what we're going to get to see. It's, uh, it's all new and uh, exciting territory, even for me, uh, because I'm making it up as I go along. Don't be fooled. Uh, there might be some level of polish, but really, I'm doing it. So I'm sitting in the back of my, sitting in the back of my Dodge Caravan, and it is four feet by eight feet of space. That's 32 square feet. That's what I'm living in. And uh, you'll see that you'll note that I've got the seat here. This is uh, my daily office space. And uh, right now the camera is sitting upon my camera, my camera. The camera is sitting upon my kitchen prep space where I make my meals. And um, of course, it's also my work table. Uh, I have another desk table that'll come across here that you'll see at some point. So here's a look at the cockpit. As you can see, everything is pretty much as you'd expect, stock, except for these curtains, which are put up because of nighttime mode. When the side door is open, we see the living space in action. You see all of my messy clothes and storage there, as organized as it can be in a van, and uh, my workspace. There's my cooler. That's what uh, keeps my food cold. And you can see it's my shirts, my hat, my stove. 
started building this van in August of uh, 2021 with my good friend George Vandermeer from the uh, Shelburne Barrel Factory. Here's some uh, footage and pictures of that time. I am hanging out down at the Barrel Factory in Shelburne and I'm working with uh, my pal George to outfit my van to be a camper. Let me give you a quick tour um, at the start. So right here you see the beginnings of the cabinet layout. On the left is going to be where the cooler and there'll be a counter across the top with a cooktop. Looking from the other side, you can see the seat where I will sit and sleep in while I'm working away. And you can see from the top of this counter here, this is where the counter will come across. Right now we're still sorting out how the back will work, but this barrel has been a good fit as a, a measurement. Uh, we may end up using it. I gotta talk a little bit more with George about that. Uh, we gutted the van at that point, well gutted. We took the seats out and opened it up and built this uh, interior. This is what would be known as a no-build van, uh, even though we built this cabinet, because it's not physically attached to the van. So if I wanted to, although it would be a great deal of work, this whole thing could come out and this could revert back to a van very easily. Uh, I decided to keep the original seats in the back there, the three-quarter seat, uh, because I'm a weird. I like to sleep sitting up. I don't like laying down. So instead of putting a bed in here, uh, I have a little footstool and I put my feet up and instead I have a nice working space that I can hang out in. Uh, my little tour apartment, if you will, tour cell. <laughs> There's a name for it. Uh, I should name a car after that. Um, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so that's basically it. This is my, my van. This is where I live when I'm on the road. Uh, and I'll be bringing you adventures as I travel. Uh, now, let's, uh, let's have a salad. Here's some old Elizabeth cotton. If this is the kind of video you want to see more of, please do click like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Uh, do you live in a camper van? I'd like to know if you've done some camping in a, in a minivan converted camper or uh, if this is something that only the crazy like me uh, decide we want to do. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave you with a, uh, a fun jam I used to play a lot. My baby don't stand no cheating, my baby. My baby don't stand no cheating, it's my baby. My baby don't stand no cheating, she don't go for none of that midnight creeping, my baby. True little baby, my baby. My baby, I know she loves me, my baby. My baby, I know she loves me, my sweet baby. Oh, 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 I know she loves me. She don't do nothing but kiss and hug me. That's my baby, true little baby, my baby. My baby, don't stand no cheating, uh-uh. My baby, don't stand no cheating, uh-uh. No, she don't. My baby, don't stand no cheating. She don't go for none of that midnight creeping. My baby's a true little baby, my baby. Now, my baby, I know she loves me, my baby. My baby, I know she loves me, my sweet baby. Oh, 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 I know she loves me. She don't do nothing but kiss and hug me. My baby, true little baby, my babe. Let's do that solo again. Oh, yeah. I'll see you next time.